Okay, so hard water versus soft water. Okay, hard water, um, as I mentioned, has uh, the minerals in the water, I'm assuming to purify the water. Uh, soft water, it doesn't have all of the minerals. Right now, as I mentioned, I'm in Texas and the water is hard. And However, I am from Mississippi. Hey, Mississippi Clarksdale, how y'all doing? Hey. Okay, I'm from Mississippi and the water there is soft. If you go to Mississippi, let me tell you this, if you go to Mississippi, nine times out of ten, probably, I'll say 90% of the women there have extremely long hair, or just say long hair. Um, and I think it's because of the water. The water is soft when you, you know, wet your hair and as soon as you put the shampoo, it lathers up. So that's a sign that you have um, um, soft water. Even if you're taking like a shower or something and you rub the soap and it lathers up really, really fast, that's a sign of soft water. So um, in Mississippi, we have soft water. So I think that has con that contributes to the women there uh, having long, healthy hair. Um, I was in Georgia, I think it was for in Atlanta, for Labor Day, I think it was, yeah, Labor Day. And I was so happy, y'all. I was so happy to get there and get in that shower in the hotel and feel that soft water. It was even soft on my body. Here in Texas, that water hits you and it's like, oh! But, you know, you got to take a bath, so you got to do what you got to do. I've even um, put filters in my um, shower to, you know, soften the water up. And I don't wash my hair in the shower, but I am going to start. Uh, I just don't like how that water running all over my face. Ugh. But I am going to start um, um, washing my hair with that, with the shower, in the shower because of the filters. I put one in each bathroom. Um. But I'm kind of rambling on here. But yeah, um, I just wanted to mention that that um, that's how you can tell the difference between hard water and soft water. And you know, when I was in Georgia, and I just wanted to wash my hair. I had done my hair, you know, uh, before we left. But man, I just wanted to get that water in my hair. You don't know if you have never you experience soft water you are missing out go to mississippi alabama georgia down that area girl look they got some soft water and it feels good is your hair will grow because um the calcium and the minerals and stuff is not in the water and it's not gonna you know build up on your hair and, and prevent your hair from obtaining any moisture so that's the good thing about um soft water i've even read like where some people get like filter water and pour do their last rinse pour it over their head or whatever um uh, that's cool but again you still need to clarify your hair at the end of the day if you ain't uh if you got a relaxer you ain't in mississippi alabama georgia with that soft water you need to go ahead and clarify your hair make it a part of your regimen to clarify your hair you will see a big difference as far as um the uh, softness of your hair being able to retain uh, moisture well which uh, let me say this uh less breakage um you may even be able to go longer without washing your hair i don't know about you but i wash my hair like every two to three days because I have to continuously, to me, it's in my head, I have to continuously incorporate, well, get that moisture in my hair so I can retain my length. Um, so anyway, I'm rambling, y'all. It's late, let me tell you, it's late here. I'm in Dallas, it's late, and it's raining, and it's cold. My kids are asleep, my husband is gone, I'm bored. So I'm just talking, y'all, I'm just talking. But I am serious about clarify your hair. Be sure to clarify your hair. And again, email me. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Bye-bye.